Wow. And it's a lot nicer than the uh, campgrounds that we saw at Jasper National Park. 360 view of my campsite. folks but we uh, just crossed into British Columbia and Mount Robson Provincial Park I believe and there was already uh, a wooden sign in case you didn't see it that auto magically we need to move our clocks back an hour I guess that kind of makes things interesting for businesses that work on either side of the Alberta BC border with each other trying to make appointments. Is that your time zone or my time zone? Fortunately, it's very cloudy today. Uh, it rained overnight, but uh, still really, really pretty. Whenever the trees clear, you can see a little bit more. We're up a little bit higher. Still see it between the trees. But some of those turnouts on the side of the road are a bit of a crapshoot. Sometimes you just see nothing but trees, and other times they're just immaculate viewpoints. But so many of them, there's like zero warning. Can't exactly stop on a dime with this thing. So Lucerne Campground is apparently the first campground that's part of the uh, Mount Robson Provincial Park. And we're just about to pass it now. But uh, I'll be staying in Robson Meadows, which is basically right at the base of uh, Mount Robson and the visitor center as well. And it's also the hub of uh, a number of trails. Fraser River once more. Fifteen minute walk to the falls from the parking lot at the side of the road. Figured I might as well give my legs a little bit of a stretch after yesterday's climb up Bald Hills Trail. Work out some kinks. Definitely feel some soreness throughout the legs. Falls. You can see them through the trees. Some special effects for you guys, free of charge. And there's a really nice smell in the air. Kind of like a combination of fresh and water and, well, forced. <laughs> wow, well, nobody here? Wow. Hey there folks, Mike here. So as you can see, I am in a campground and it's a lot nicer than the uh, campgrounds that we saw at Jasper National Park. There's a lot of trees in here. As for privacy, um, 
it's uh, like there's there's more distance between the different sites and obviously the trees help quite a bit but like there's only a separation of maybe oh maybe 20 feet give or take um, between my neighbors anyways but uh, beautiful beautiful park unfortunately the day has been overcast cloudy all day I took some pictures of uh, of the mountains and whatnot but um, uh, not too many I didn't really feel all that inspired because of the, the cloud cover and just the the fog that was preventing me from seeing the peaks so as for yesterday needless to say I made it back to the camper van from the uh, long descent from Bald Hills Trail and Lookout Point rained a good portion of the way down my entire left side was uh, was soaked uh, a good portion of my right side was as well it had stopped raining maybe about a third of the way down and uh, coincidentally my my pants dried uh, mostly actually so it uh, it wasn't like I was uh, walking all the way back to the camper van completely soaked so that was uh, a bit of a bonus but um, yeah I was pretty much just exhausted it was a about a 16 kilometer out and back again um, I didn't even realize this but um, like there was signage and you, you can't really go wrong in terms of where to go uh, at Moline Lake but they don't make it all that apparent when you're actually driving in you know you're just kind of following the traffic and you're trying to find a place to park so I ended up parking in the Opal Trail parking lot which is actually at the far other end of the area compared to where the Bald Hills Trail trailhead is so I added some unnecessary kilometers um, for that hike um, just because of where I ended up parking. Anyways, that's on me. So yeah, it was about 16, 16 and a half kilometers, um, about 800 meters in elevation gain. Thought about quitting a couple of times, but um, I really wanted to get to that uh, summit and kind of prove to myself that um, I could actually accomplish something on this uh, on this vacation. Beautiful, beautiful views, uh, despite the weather and the uh, you know the incoming cloud cover. It was really windy, really chilly up at the top, but uh, made it all the worthwhile um, getting up there. So got back to the camper van. Um, didn't go anywhere initially threw myself right in the shower <laughs> another beautiful thing about you know having something like uh, like this kind of a vehicle for vacationing you know you can just get back to the parking lot and have a shower right away and kind of like reinvigorate yourself a little bit put some dry clothes on and then uh, made my way to uh, back to Jasper picked up something to eat because I had zero energy to even make like a dehydrated meal um, wolfed that down completely and then uh, turned in fairly early so overall it was a great day uh, it was it was tough it was challenging but um, it was well worth it uh, so as for today obviously I had to vacate out of Jasper um, and I made my way to Robson Provincial Park it's about an hour away by car uh, some beautiful scenery which I got on video for you guys uh, for the drive here a couple of places that you can kind of pull over to the side of the road and um, take some snapshots there's a beautiful river you cross over the Fraser River a couple of times plus there's the Moose River and Moose Lake um, stunning huge lake beautiful just there was one outcrop that I just really couldn't get to from my side of the road so I'll be uh, checking into that on the way back uh, the day after tomorrow. I checked in with the visitor center and uh, they're still working on the Berg Lake Trail so uh, what is open is basically from the visitor center up to uh, Kinney Lake so I'll be uh, tackling that. It's a fairly easy I believe it's a four and a half kilometer hike give or take round trip and there's one other um, hike that was suggested to me and I'll uh, double check on my notes uh, but I'll try to tackle both of those tomorrow and then uh, for my last or my morning on my way out from Robson uh, just kind of take my time getting back to Jasper fair warning for anybody that's coming into the area there is zero cell service in this area so um, basically as soon as you get out of Jasper you lose cell signal and the only time that I had any kind of signal was when I reached the visitor center at Mount Robson and they had free Wi-Fi I didn't really do a speed test for anybody that was uh, curious about that but uh, you can 
kind of like sit outside on the deck area and uh, keep yourself connected while um, you know goings on are happening in the visitor center like tours and whatnot so if you are coming into Robson Meadows that has nothing to do with the visitor center so you can actually pull right into uh, Robson Meadows if you already have a reservation you basically find your site set up and then um, the host slash park ranger whoever they may be will actually do rounds and uh, come by and uh, get you registered in so that's that so that's about it it's um, almost six o'clock so I think I'm gonna make myself something to eat hopefully the weather clears up tomorrow for uh, a nice hike on Berg Lake Trail and uh, the other trail I was mentioning I'm going to check out the campground a little bit here and uh, see what kind of amenities there are I don't have cell service I don't have Wi-Fi so I don't uh, don't have access to a map right away but um, yeah that's about it for now I hope you enjoyed Overlander Falls and Trail. It was very cute, very nice. Apparently you can actually walk all the way from the visitor center there and back, about 1.5 kilometers. So yeah, good stuff. And I think I hear the park ranger coming along, so I'm going to call it there. Till then, folks. Sun is trying to peek through the trees, but I thought I'd give you guys a 360 view of my campsite. And lots of warnings that there are bears in the area and even coming through the park. So fair warning. My home for the night. And that's it.